my cart for you know everything he does and who he is. And, and then Elias Harris, I mean, gosh dang, I mean, Air, he's going to go down in history as one of the greatest players to ever come through this place, you know, with the points and rebounds and wins, which is, in the end of the day, that's, that, that's, that's all that matters. So uh, what a great group of seniors. So I hope, I hope we have a great, uh, great night for them. It's a special team, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you keep a close eye on it. 27 and 2, 14 and 0 in the West Coast Conference. Have a great week. We'll see you next week here on the Mark View Show. some great seasons around Sackville of late but possibly none as great as this one is shaping up to be number three Gonzaga hosting San Diego as West Coast Conference men's basketball action continues on Greg Heister Dan Dick out Richard Fox guys Gonzaga has got 25 wins they're unbeaten in the West Coast Conference at 12 and 0 but really they've done nothing yet to hang their hat on have they no this team's got great focus they understand despite how well they're playing right now they have a lot to play for, not just the league championship, but that tournament. And also, when you get, you get to March, they have big hopes for NCAA tournament time. And Dan, staying focus can be an issue for a 20-year-old kid. Oh, without a doubt. But I think one of the things that this team has done a great job is focusing on the task at hand throughout the year. If they continue to do that and improve, the sky's the limit this last month of the season. And Richard, when the season started, all the concentration seemed to be on the guards for Gonzaga. They're really, really good. Sure. It's been a good season. But those post players, wow. Something, right. something else. Yeah. One of the best front lines in the country, maybe the best to have ever played here. This duo and Elias Harris and Kelly Olinick have been unbelievable this year. Over 32 points per game combined between the two of them, 14 points. And it's the way that they've gone about it. Both players very unique in their own right. They play exceptionally well together. Both players together average three assists per game, continually find each other around the rim. You take a look at their numbers. Olenek has been the best player in WCC play this year. 20 points, nearly six, over 66% from the field, while Leas Harris has been steady and consistent throughout the season. And for San Diego, Dan, Bill Greer's got himself a nice young score. This guy is something you can build this team around. Well, Johnny D coming in as a walk on last year as a freshman, averaged almost 14 points a game. This year, upping it to about 15, can score in a number of different ways. Here you see a little dribble drive in transition, shooting a jump shot over the top, but he can also stroke it from the three point line. Shoots almost 40% from the year. Catch and shoot there, a little dribble handoff action here. Did a great job scoring against Gonzaga down there. Gonzaga's going to have to take care of him tonight. And if something is finding yourself a little odd about this picture right now, it's obvious that Dan has found some miracle grow or something, Richard. What? I can't figure that. What's, What's it, going uh, on? It's a little elk antler spray, I think, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, but. Hey, it's Gonzaga. It's San Diego starting lineups tip off when we come back. Welcome back to Spokane, Washington. Number three, Gonzaga hosting the University of San Diego. The Zags 25 and 2 on the season, 12 and 0 inside the West Coast Conference, and trying to keep this perfect season rolling forward now in league play. Welcome back inside the McCarthy Athletic Center. Of course, they love their Zags inside this place. Another sellout crowd. Time for tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Numerica Credit Union. For San Diego, it's Johnny D, Christopher Anderson, Chris Manressa, Dennis Kramer, and Ken Ransifer. The head coach, Bill Greer, a former longtime assistant at Gonzaga, has now been at USD for six seasons. It's hard to believe. 81 and 108. For Gonzaga, starting lineups looking like this. Pangos, Bell Jr., Mike Hart, Elias Harris, and Kelly Olinick. And their head coach, of course, is Mark Few. And guys, we have seen over these years Mike Hart evolve, but it seems now that 
nationally the attention has caught up. He's a superstar it seems like out there these days all over the place. Well it's it's a case of him always being in the right position at the right time but it's not by luck it's because of preparation it's because of knowledge of the game and you see he's getting a little bit no more notoriety now but he's really the glue to this team that's really helping drive them in some tough spots throughout the, the past few games. It'll be Olenek and Manresa tipping it off. And we're underway. And this is Chris Anderson, a sophomore out of Anaheim Hills, California, with the ball. And now Manresa looks to go inside. San Diego will play hard. Bill Greer is a tenacious, tough guy as they try to go inside. His teams will not give up. They got off to a 4 0 start in league play, and I can, you know, you can look at the yeah. competition, but they've got some nice wins. This well, and they've lost five games by three points or less. So this team has been close a lot. They definitely turned the corner after a tough season last year, but they're going to play hard. They got a lot of confidence down at their place as well, so this is not going to be an intimidated group. And it's one of those teams, Dan, that when they get in the rhythm, it seems like the shots can fall. Oh, without a doubt, you look at the game down in San Diego, their guards made some big plays, shots, getting offensive rebounds. So anytime you see the ball go through the hoop, your confidence grows. And a whistle. Got a three-second violation. And a first turnover and right for Gonzaga. There, and right there on that first defensive possession for San Diego, you see how talented they are defensively and how they stay within what they're trying to do. With family home care, you always get the home court advantage you deserve. Live happy with FHC. Gonzaga winning 42 of their last 43 league games on this floor. They're tough to beat. Tough to beat anywhere this season as Johnny D. You see him elevate. Guys, he comes in a small package at six feet tall, but boy, can he play the game of basketball. Well, he's got a quick release, and he's not just a three-point shooter. He can score off the bounce. Excellent, excellent at a one-two dribble move, pulling up. So he's a lot more versatile than just a straight three-point shooter who's easier to, easier to defend. Our first foul of the game coming on Kramer of San Diego, his first team's first. Dan, you've got to like his game. Well, just like Richard mentioned a second ago, he can score in a number of different ways. So can Olympic. Gonzaga leaves. Much too easy for San Diego. Here with that layup off an inbounds. Finish your thought here on Johnny D, Dan. I mean, he's got to remind you of yourself a little bit. There's a deflection. Pangos picks it up. Gonzaga now on the move. Pangos to the rim. Left hand is good. 6 2. But look at Anderson right back for USD. This guy is lightning in a bottle. He's a lot of fun to watch, too. One of the more entertaining guys in the league. Excellent at creating stuff for his teammates. Can shoot the ball a little bit. What's remarkable, he's second on the team with four rebounds a game. Fellas, he's 5'7", 160. <laughs> and that's being generous on the on the 160 part, but he definitely is a competitor. He gets after it. Dennis Kramer with a miss from three. <laughs> Mike Hart the rebound and Gonzaga back on offense. We're going to get to talk more before the game's out on Johnny D, Dan. Pangos with the ball for GU. Down to the baseline. Pangos from the corner. That's short. Harris fighting to get there. Rancifer with a rebound, but a foul called inside on USD. Possession coming back to GU. We see the steal here. Excellent hands, and this is where Pangos has gotten better for GU. Last year, not as comfortable finishing in transition or in the half court around the rim. He's really worked on that part of his game, Dan. Has a little floater, can finish with either hand around the rim. That's a nice play. That's Gary Bell. Olenek, nice catch, out the heart. Pangos for three. San Diego falls back into a 2-3 zone. And GU makes him pay right away. Nice ball swing. Easy shot for Pangos. Last 10 games, Kevin Pangos has taken his shooting to another level. It seems like everything he shoots goes in. There's some nice offense. Ken Ransom for the senior out of Oakland makes it a 7-4 game. Well, the reason it seems like everything Kevin shoots is going in is because it he is. has the same mechanics from his footwork all the way up to his release on almost every single shot, and that's the sign of a great shooter. 
just a sophomore for GU. Here's Olenek, the junior. This is deep by Pangos. That's short. Hart digs it out and throws it out. Just another example of Mike Hart doing all the little things to create team success. There's a travel on Olenek. He was bumped as he was catching that ball. Knocked him off balance. All right, shoot around this morning, guys. Kyle Bankhead, who runs the scout for San Diego when they played GU, and Billy Green were talking about, hey, when you see Olenek or Harris catch the ball on low block, don't be afraid to dive down and try to cause a turnover, get a steal, force them to pick the ball up. That was excellent defense right there by GU's, and part of me, San Diego's guards helping out Manresa on the low block. Three-point game. Harris watching Anderson. Anderson trying to use that quickness. Stops and spins, missed it. Oh, rebounded. And a foul called. And Manresa will go to the free throw line. Boy, that kid is fast. Early on in this game, if you're a U.S. defense, you've got to like what you're seeing. Activity, activity on the defensive end, doubling down like on the prior possession, but you're getting some penetration on offense. Manresa short, that foul called on Hart, his first. Teams first, so Hart goes out of the game replaced by David Stockton. And Ressa, a senior out of Rancho Santa Margarita, California. And Ressa missing both. A 60% three throw shooter. And that'll do nothing to help that low average. Olenek has it poked away by Manresa now Anderson he's got D on the wing dribbles to the corner handoff D for three that's long Olenek with the position on Manresa with the rebound Bell at the other end mm -hmm. got to stop the ball yeah, you take a quick shot in your offense that's a good look for D but you give up you missed the shot GU, as good as anybody in the country, turning a defensive rebound and it's an easy, easy points on the other end. You saw it right there. Sinis missing from three, a 38% shooter. And the flush. And it's 11 to 4. 